Hello and welcome back to my OTR beginner routes tutorials. We're going to be going over Dodongo's Cavern. Um, I'd always recommend doing this temple as an adult. You're going to save a lot more time doing it as adult rather than child. The only requirements you really need is bombs to be able to full clear it, but uh, you can kind of break logic and go in here a lot earlier if you have bomb chews, hammer, or strength. But for the most part, if you want a full clear and you don't have bombs, you will need bomb chews and strength, and having hammer does help save on bomb chews. So obviously in this first room, you need to get through this wall. You can use bomb flowers if you have strength, bombs, bomb chews, or hammer. Obviously, for uh, the bombable walls like that, using hammer will save on chews if that's the strat you're going for. So these platforms will be moving. You're going to want to go to the right first. Climb up here as adult, and you get able to hit the switch. There are no checks besides Skulchulas on this half of the dungeon. So it's a lot better, a lot more beneficial to just skip most of that. Obviously, if you don't have bombs, use a bomb chew, or bomb flower, or bomb chew, or hammer, whatever you choose. You can get a hint from this in the tournament settings. Then you'll want to head back to the left side of the room. If you're using bomb chews, instead of just holding them in front of the places, waiting for them to explode. Shield drop them, and then use a Deku Nut, and they'll explode instantly. So this will be your first check. You'll want to grab that. And then you'll head over to this door right here. Most people will know how to do this room. You just want to put a bomb in between the two flowers here to get this to go down. If you don't have bombs, or you don't want to hold bomb shoes, but you have strength, grab this one from back here, and drop it in the middle. And then I usually just grab this one, and wait for it to explode to open this up while the cutscene's happening. That way you don't take damage. You know, two things at once. Just a bit more efficient. There's also a strat you can do where you shoot the two bombs in front of here with bow if you have it. It's a bit more difficult, but it is possible. So that's always an option that's available. You'll want to go in here. This first Armos is alive, so you'll get the check here, kill the Armos, and then leave. He has a pretty good chance of dropping bombs, so you might want to look out for that if you're low on supplies. For these stairs, you just want to run backwards and do jumps up them. If you don't have any weapons, I'd recommend taking one of the pots. And you can throw it to kill this Skulchula up here. That obviously will get you a token that's pretty free. Also, that pot always get, drops uh, 20 rupees. So, free money. Then you'll want to go through this door. Climb up here. Hit the switch and leave. So here, uh, you can backwalk on this bridge if you're feeling confident. It's a bit faster, just make sure to turn around before the jump. And continue backwalking. It is a bit laggy on uh, N64 console, but if you play on anything else, it won't be as laggy. So for here, you're going to want to jump and grab here. It's a pretty simple jump. If you practice this a bit, you should be able to get it. Um, that's how we'll get this chest if you don't have bombs or anything. You can then also well, jump over. You'll want to get this chest first. Oh. Well, get this chest. And then you can climb back up the ladder there and jump back over like I did before. Or if you have bombs, you can do a bomb jump. So since you should be adult, you can do the easier bomb jump. Take a bomb, place it, shield, it. Oh. Press A and B at the same time and then hold Z. And it should look like that. Then you can do a bomb jump. Get up here. Grab the bomb chest. Then you'll want to hit this direction. 
if you're not confident that you uh, are going to be able to do this in one go, press the switch so you can get back up here, save time if you accidentally fall down. Most people won't have to hit that though, it is just a bit of a time sink. A nice little trick to save time here that you can do is if you line up right here, drop a bomb, pull a bomb, and then back walk. By the time that goes off, your bomb will also explode this. You can get the chest here. And if you don't have bombs, you can still do the explosions on the eyes. You'll just have to use uh, some other kind of explosive. So you can use uh, bomb juice, just not them. And you'll open up this part of the dungeon. Now here, you don't actually have to go do the puzzle, so just jump up, because you're adult, you're big enough, push the block down. The fire keys are giving you trouble, you might want to kill them, they do get pretty annoying when you're trying to push the block. Hopefully they'll leave me alone. Nope. Out of my way, bud. So yeah, just push the block the rest of the way. Yeah. That's fun. No, push the block. Thought that would give me health. Guess not. Well, in here, you can either uh, drop a bomb, or you can... Use a bomb chew and a nut. Then you'll want to jump down here. Do a jump slash as you're landing. That way you store the jump slash value, which is obviously what you want because it does a lot of damage. And then you'll fight King Dodongo. If you don't have bombs and you're using strength, you can grab the bomb flowers from the corners of the room. Uh, it's just a lot, slight bit slower. For this demonstration, I'll just use bombs since I have them. So, throw a bomb, do a crouch stab, and then you just want to move out of the way. Stand on the corner so he can't get you. Throw another bomb. Do your second crouch stab, and he'll be dead. So, the Dongan's Cavern is not really a challenging dungeon. I think the hardest thing to do is just know how to do the um, the jump where uh, to get to the bomb bag chest. Knowing how to do that will significantly help you. And just doing this a dungeon as an adult is just much faster. But that's basically all you need. And for the most part, you can... Uh, interchangeably use the items that I have listed on the screen but your best bet is having bomb bags so you can just come in here and full clear but you can still get around using the other items and that's basically it DC is relatively fast I usually recommend clearing it if you can since it can have good items in it during your randos since it's not a very hard check to get into and it's very accessible Due to if you have hammer, you can get in here. If you have bomb cheese, you can get in here. If you have strength, if you have uh, normal bombs. So it's a good idea to come into DC. Just like it is a good idea to go and full clear Deku. But that's basically it for uh, Dodongan's Cavern. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to get to you and help out with that.